Today um, we are meeting to do a brief review of a project that we've been working on for the last say seven to eight months uh, between the St. Lucia and India, a company called Lepotech in India, Lepotech Labs and Ironwood Apiculture Collective. And what we've established, we've now ready to roll out um, the first beta version of the software for persons to test. Um, now let me just tell you a little bit about the software. The software is a hive management application. Uh, one of the things that we found, um, especially as a beekeeper myself, is keeping proper records of all the activities I've done within my hive. Um, so, you know, I, I write it down in a scrapbook. I forget the scrapbook, then I, the scrapbook turns to a piece of paper that I will then transfer to the scrapbook, then I lose the scrapbook, I lose a piece of paper, and then I start all the way from back to zero. So, um, one of the things that we thought of was that if we can get something in your hand, the thing that you have most of all with you at all times is your phone. And I've even went to the point of experimenting and using my calendar in my phone and using the reminders of things that I did to remember to go back and do and list it in my phone and even that didn't quite work. So we now said, okay, let's zoom in on that and let's focus on developing something that could have a real multifunctional aspect to it. And I have, the, we'll do some live demonstrations from, a, from the phone and we'll also go down to the hives and do a, a hive inspection and log all the data inside of it so you can get a feel of actually, actually how it works in the app. So the login screen is a basic standard login screen. Once you've put inside of it your, um, your personal details, uh, you don't have to do it again. So you, you can, if you haven't signed up, there's a sign up option. You click on the sign up, and then once you go through the sign up, it will, you just enter your username and password, and it should automatically take you through every time. Um, you can sign up. The sign up has basic features, the username you want to use, your email address, your country, password, confirm password, and sign up. So the first thing you do is that you go into the site, you click on it, add Apri, and you'll get to type in if the location is Mondidor Castries, you could type in Mondidor Castries, and it will automatically geolocate where you create that Apri. So it will register that location in the phone and it will be there for you. Um, on the left hand side of the screen, you've got this little drawer. The drawer is used to change your options in the app. The drawer consists of add Apri inventory, assign Apri, rate the app, share the app, and about the app options. So you've got a multi-user, so you can add more information to your user profile, add the Apri inventory. Assign Apri allows you to add multiple people to access that Apri. So say for instance, there's a beginner beekeeper that you're working with, and you're assisting them, they can create the Apri but they can add you as a supervisor to, so you would have access to their information so that you can look at what they've done, what they haven't done. If they haven't gone to the bees, you can give them a phone call and so forth. Once you've got all your locations, your apries in there, you could maybe even use it to calculate the distance. So if you find your apries are too close together, you might want to put them a little further, further apart. Or if you want them close together, at least you will know how much bees are working in the same area. Add Apri page consists of Apri ID, a cluster code, and Apri location where the Apri ID and cluster code are fixed and which cannot be changed. Apri location can be changed from the map. You can change the name of the app, but you can't change the codes. Once you've created your Apri, you will get this screen here. You'll be able to capture weather information, you'll be able to capture forage information, and you'll be able to capture information specifically on your beehive. So you can actually track what plants are in flower and, and have a record of it. Um, and then you could have that in a database which you can go back to over time. So each individual Apri will have its own set of QR codes it will create. And these QR codes are specific to your Apri. If you print out a set of 99, and then you 
take a beehive from this location and move it to another location you try to scan that code into that apiary it wouldn't work qr codes are very specific to apiary and within the software you can reassign uh, a, a code to a box so say if you move it from another location another you can change it in the software but you have to issue a new qr code all right so this is how we register our bees now so we don't put bright numbers on it anymore or, or paint them in flash colors to note to identify them we put a qr code in it and at the, at the bottom of it has the numbers that that qr code is correspondent to that helps us with record keeping um, you don't have to write anything down you know you just flash your phone bam it pulls it up select 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 save good you're good to go um, hives in the apiary can be added through this form you can either type in the id which you can just type in a number at the bottom or you can scan the qr code so you just click on scan to the system and it will recognize that that's an active qr code and it will assign it to that box you can say so you would then say does it have a queen yes or no colony has a queen you say yes um, what species of bees it is, add weather, and if forage the same way, um, if it's a tree crop, if it's a, if it's a regular crop, or if it's a shrub, like a shrub, um, you can take a picture of it and upload it. So this is just the general detailed view, which you'll see after you've inputted all the information, you'll get a general view like this, which consists of the hive details. The apiary location, the date that information was uploaded into the system, ID number, source of the hive, if it was a wild, wild captured hive or if it was a hive you created, the strength of the hive, the species, and uh, whether or not it has a queen. When you added information to the apiary, you will go to add an event. And we have got six events that we've um, predetermined that are possible for you to undertake as a beekeeper. So the first one is an examination uh the second one is any treatments pests and diseases treatments you may do honey harvesting uh any feeding you may con do if you have to replace your queen and if you have to reset your colony so if there's a problem in the colony you have to reset it you can reuse the same qr code again rather than having to print a new one the inventory list will just give you a list of how many all of your apiaries in your system if you are a newbie uh, somebody that's learning how to do beekeeping and there's somebody that's coaching you you can go through assign apiary and you can assign somebody to be your mentor and that person will, will when they log into this when they log into the hive app on their system they can pick either to go through to their hives or they can pick to go to your hives and see what's been happening with you and you can edit your profile you can add a nice picture of yourself or anything you like of interest and you can update your personal information what we do now all right is we go to we go to our first hive here and we're gonna add we select add an event all right so you select add an event and then we select um, examination mm -hmm. all right so then we select scan we scan the qr code Okay, so it scanned it in, 4800201, Alright, mm -hmm. so we're scanned in. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you can enter the information, and I'm going to do the examination. All right, so we added these frames about a week ago, and we just had a week, a week's worth of rain. So the bees just started to draw this out. They're putting a little bit of nectar in. There's a little bit of nectar inside the comb. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not too bad. Um, but we've just had a week's worth of rain. A little smoke again, brother. Mm 
You see the bees are doing well. Lots of nectar around the side. Some hatch brood, some brood in the middle. Uh, these bees are kind of nice, you know. No, no problem with these bees. All right. So they're doing okay. Yeah, let's go down below a little bit. Um, hmm? Very different to what we have down south. Down south, yeah, well, we're trying to help you in the south, you know, to... What's wrong with the down south? Just... More aggressive? Smoke. <laughs> you know, the one I have, they don't seem to be aggressive, that aggressive. To me, you got the queens from me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are Africanized bees, but we do have Africanized bees in St. Lucia. But I like them when they're aggressive. Mm. Mm -hmm. ah, it's a nice frame of brood here. Eh? If you will not go and tamper with your hive, come on. Well, where am I now? If somebody had to go and tamper with your hive, they would tamper with it. Yeah. Regardless. Oh, look, the queen. Where's the queen? There's a queen right there. Right there. Look right there. There's a queen. She was a nice. Right there. You can put queen sighted in your report. When we sighted eggs, of course. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This is a very nice colony of bees here. We plan to make some nice grafts from her this year. This is probably going to be one of our grafting, okay. our grafting colonies. Smell of smoke. Right. Yeah, now you're looking for your queen. She's coming back. As these bees are in direct sunlight, we leave the front of the box slightly cracked mm -hmm. so that the air can flow, the hot air can flow out nice and easy. Okay? Oh, right. So you finish your report? Um, population type, is it heavy? Uh, we we'll say medium, medium. Medium yeah. right. Temper, calm. calm. Yep. Rain pattern. Uh, fair. What's that? Oh, we could have uh, um, fair. Star? Okay. Uh, average, average. average. Oh, falling stars. Average. Drone sighted. Uh, you see the drones? I didn't say I saw one or two. Low. So low. Yeah. I didn't recognize what the drones. If it was, sorry? I did not recognize the drones. Yeah, I didn't see any drones. Yeah. Um, okay. Order, normal. Normal. Equipment. Good. We, didn't, okay. we could have taken a picture, but we didn't. Yeah. But so it. just press save, yeah. and that's it. Equipment you bring to the boxes. The box. Yeah, and that's it. That's good. That's easy. Yeah, and easy enough, yeah. so you find that beneficial. That would be beneficial for you. Yeah. All right. So hive up Carib. So that's hive up Caribbean. So okay. that's how it works. And from that basis, you can we can we can. Um, when we go upstairs, we can capture some picture of our forage, some mm -hmm. pictures of the flowering plants. But as you can see, it's a very easy software to use. Yeah. Um, and you can capture the information, put your hive and it's logged and it's recorded. And if you're working in a team or you've got uh, somebody working with you as a mentor, the mentor could take, you know, you could take, if any anomalies you see in the hive, you could take a picture of it mm -hmm. and your mentor would see it mm -hmm. and they could tell you, well, do X, do Y, do Z. The thing I like about it is that it's on one you just have to scroll down and get everything. Usually yes. when you find tabs where you have to go back and forth, people mm -hmm. don't really like entering information. They find it tedious, so it's good that it has one. Great, yes.
All right, so you select forage, the middle one. Um, we're gonna just capture this. This this is a a shrub. So we select as a shrub. Um, we want to take a picture. So select upload image. Just focus on it. Go close up to it. Got a nice shoot like a shoot like there. And press that save. And it will upload that information. Okay. Done. Real easy. Nothing complicated. And that way you can capture as much information as possible as the season goes by. So you might be taking pictures of that all year round. And you realize, oh, this is a perennial. And the bees go, so I, can, might, I might want to plant more of this to help my bees on a day-to-day on -day basis. All right. So you can do that for anything. You want to try one? Mark? Uh, Look at the nice, the mustard. Like this, this yellow thing here. So, we we'll select it as a, as a shrub. So let's select that, the bottom one. Yeah, press upload image. No, no, upload image, the one above. All right, bring it in close to contact. Press the circle, take the picture and press save and boom it's uploaded all right real easy all right uh sheena you want to do one we got a nice uh what they call a hibiscus Gold. Can't you say what's that? The mustard? Yeah, I think that's mustard. Okay. But this is a high, got a high viscous over okay, here. Okay, so have. So you go to click forage in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you will select what it is. It's a tree, it's a crop or a shrub. Which one is it? Other three? No idea. Shrub. Okay. Mm -hmm. Press upload image. Go take a nice shot of it. Go close up if you want. Great. Press save. And it's uploaded, it. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Real easy. Yeah. All right. We're not overcast. I wish that partly cloudy too. Partly cloudy. Now we have sunny, overcast, and rain. So, sunny. as it's sunny, wind status mild, wind speed. About um, to ten. Uh, six miles per hour. Six miles per hour. Kmph. Kilometers. Um, I don't have the kilom. I'm working on kilometers, but I think it's six miles per hour. We could do the conversion later. Right so it's about. I would say about four kilometers. Per yeah, four. Hour. All right. Okay. Wind direction. Uh, wind direction is southeast. Southeast. So S E. Yes. Okay, so U T it's south east. All right, temperature Celsius. Uh, Thirty-four degrees Celsius. Okay, all right, we got all that. We're saving right now. Perfect. Okay. We're gonna add this this apiary into the system. Okay. All right, so we're adding a new apiary to the system. So we press add apiary. Um, apiary location it comes up on the geolocate on the map one time. Uh, we're going to put the name Sunny okay. Acres. And we mm -hmm. save it. So Sunny Acres has already come up. It's come up with the area. It's come up with the code. Okay, so we've added the apiary. Um, it's come up on the geolocation. Um, we can we can add add some add new update. So we can do the weather. Sunny. Wind status is normal. Wind speed is what nine kilometers from earlier today. It's about the same here. Wind direction uh, is east southeast. Seven miles per hour. 
So seven. So that's about six k. So. So. And the temperature is thirty four degrees Celsius. All right, um, we're gonna add some forage in here quickly. All right, um, so we have a few different types of forage here. Um, so, first of all, you have here the capish tree. So we will just go. Tree. Upload image. It's a capest tree. I will save it. Okay, let's add it. I'll add some more forage. Um, this one in here is a savonet tree which will give us some nice flowers September October so. okay um, so we can download um, QR codes it will download it it's downloading it should download a batch of 100 so it's downloaded you can open this Google Drive to PDF and our QR code should turn up and these are should be 99 QR codes for this site that's just been created so then we can now either we can export that out to send file and we can send it via WhatsApp to possibly myself and that's out and, and I, I can get, get that, that printed, printed. Send, send it to my team at JB Gas and they can um, print that for me. Well, you could email. Or I could, or alternately we could have used the email. Mm -hmm. If you notice there's nice clusters of bees, so the bees are, exp the colonies are expanding, um, especially so the ones in the back are doing really really well, so we need to do some work today and um, really put these hives where they need to be. Alright, so it's progressing nicely. Um, despite the atmospheric conditions that's apparent in the region right now. We did a hive inspection on one of our hives. Really easy, scan the QR codes, do your examination as normal, take pictures as you see fit, answer the, the scroll down questions as they come up, save it and move on. And you've got a very simple, you've got a very easy record of what you did in your hive. It didn't take much out of you. So if you've got company, it's even easier. But if you're by yourself, you could try and memorize everything and then just scan it and pop all the information, populate with the information. So it's easy enough that you could, you don't have to be standing there typing. Everything is drop down menus or selections. So if you feel bare hands, you could work your bees like that. Or if you've got somebody with you, they could be out of the bees and you could be doing the inspection while they record the information for you. You won't lose that piece of paper as I used to do. Mm -hmm. On many occasions, or uh, you, 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 you do, take all your notes and then you leave it in the apiary and you forget your notepad in the apiary and it rains overnight, you come back and your book wash out. So when you have your phone, you know, everybody's got their phone stuck to their waist or something. If they lose their phone, that's, that's like they can't breathe. So they're a little more particular about where they leave their phones. It's beautiful, like everything's up in the cloud. It's not localized. We, we are doing a version that will work locally so that you can, if you don't have access to the internet, you could still run, do all the inspections and run the program. And then when um, you get back to a Wi-Fi spot or you get home, it will just up, upload the data. All right, so we're working on that. So maybe by the end of this month, it should work in off, offline, offline mode. All right. But everything, so that's a project between St. Lucia and, and India. 
call that South South collaboration, and we developed this software to work um, to be our data management software for our regional project across seven islands, six in the Caribbean, and one in the South Pacific. So, can you generate like simple reports? Yes, yeah? yes. Um, once we've got, we haven't added a report feature at this time because we just don't have enough data in the system as yet but once we've got more data in the system we'll be able to generate lots of different reports for you all right and there is also a admin panel all right so you'll be able to log in from your desktop computer and work and and, 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 and run your reports from the admin panel all right so there is an admin panel to it that runs from your desktop or, or you could run it from your phone as well but it's best to run from a desktop computer that's the so um we have we functional now but we have not not released that option as of yet for everybody to use. Okay. This one, Can yes. you at least export it like as a CSV? XML yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a simple database file, so we can export it as an Excel spreadsheet, and then you can manipulate it from there. All right, okay, all right. So that's a wrap. Thank you, everybody, for coming.